Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Himmel's Tutorial. So today we are going to study the fifth chapter of Thrust and Fluids, Archimedes Principle and Flotation, which is going to be in three parts. The first part is up thrust and Archimedes Principle. Now what is up thrust? Now for example, take a wood and throw it into the water and I'm sure it will not, it will flow. It won't sink because the density of the wood is less than as compared to the density of water. Anyway, uh, if now, if we push the wood into the water, you will feel a force, an upward force when we push the wood into the water. So, and uh, you can feel that more force is needed for the wood to make it sink into the water. Now, why is that? That's because of the up thrust or the buoyant force. In the previous chapter, we read that liquid exerts pressure in all the direction. But here, the upward pressure is exerted by the liquid on a body, which is submerged, which is in the water. So, when a body is submerged in liquid, the liquid exerts up an upward force on the body. That's called up thrust or the buoyant force. And the property of liquid that is called buoyancy. So, whenever you push any body uh, in the liquid, in a fluid, in water, in a river or wherever, you will feel an upward force on the body. That's called the up thrust or the buoyant force. And this property is not, it's not just for liquid, it's for gases also. Gases also have the property of buoyancy. Next is the unit of upthrust. The unit is Newton or KGF. Because upthrust that is related to force and the unit of force that is Newton. So similarly upthrust has also given the unit Newton or KGF. Now what are the properties of upthrust? Now it has four properties, three properties. First is that the larger the volume, the greater is upthrust. Now imagine for this scenario, take a metal sheet and just put it in a liquid first of all it will not sink because of the large volume because of the less density of the metal sheet now push the metal sheet into the water now you will feel a force affecting on the body so larger the volume the greater is the up thrust now perform the similar experiment but with a feather or a pebble you will feel less force applied on the body as compared to the metal sheet so this is the larger volume of body submerged into the fluid, the greater is the up thrust. Second is for same volume inside the fluid, more density of fluid, greater is the up thrust. Now what does this mean? Let's change the fluid. Now, now take a mercury. Now take a bucket of water and take a bucket of mercury and two corks. Put, put the cork A or cork 1, the first cork into water. It will float and put the cork B or the cork 2, the second cork, in the mercury. It will sink. Why is that? Because the density of the fluid that is here, the mercury, that is very much. So, the greater will be the up thrust. Now put the first cork in the water and the second cork in the mercury. Now you will notice that the first cork that float, both the corks they will float, but the volume of the second cork that will be immersed in mercury that is smaller the volume of the second cork immersed in the liquid that is small as compared so basically to the, first cork. the atmospheric pressure that the acts on this that the density rubber sucker of glycerine, or you could say mercury that is more than that of water so here the more the density of fluid, the greater is the up thrust. Third is the up thrust acts on the body in upward direction at the center of buoyancy that is the center of gravity of the displaced fluid. The third characteristic is the force acts on the body at the center of the buoyancy in the center of the gravity of the displaced fluid. Here it will act the upward up thrust and in the upward direction now what is the reason for up thrust 
Now, as we have read that uh, in the previous chapter, pressure includes an atmospheric pressure. The liquid contained in a vessel it it exerts pressure in all the direction, and e equal force, equal pressure in all the directions. And we have also learned that the pressure exerted by the liquid that is that increases with the depth. So, if any body that is submerged, that is immersed in a liquid, the liquid will exert pressure in all the direction. It will exert pressure towards the ob object also. Now, the reason, the main reason for a thrust here is that because of the differences in pressure, because of the liquid causes. Net upward force means the up thrust. It causes for up thrust on the body. That's the reason for up thrust. The differences in pressure. Next is up thrust is equal to the weight of displaced liquid. Now, if any body that is immersed in a liquid, remember this that up thrust is always equal to the weight of the liquid in which the body that is submerged. Now, through this sentence, we can derive a formula, and the formula is up thrust is equal to the volume of the body, density of the liquid, and the acceleration due to gravity. This is a formula that you are going to use in your numericals. Next is the factors that affect the up thrust. It depends on two factors. First is the volume of the body. If the body, like, for example, take wood. The volume of the wood that will be more, but it will sink. It will not sink. While take a stone, stone, and whose volume that will be very small, it will sink. So up thrust that depends on the volume of the body, and sometimes liquid also. Second is the density of liquid. As we read in the in the experiment in which we took. Water and mercury. So that's the thing here. Density of liquid in which the body is submerged. One of the factors on which up thrust depends. Next is effect of up thrust. Now, what is the effect of up thrust? Effect of up thrust because of up thrust, the body which is immersed in the liquid, which is immersed in the liquid. That appears to be less than its actual weight. For proving that, I have an experiment is giving lifting a bucket full of water from a well. Now you would have seen the people who are who are from the village area. They would have seen that women taking out bucket full of water out from the well. So whenever the your uh, sister or her mother they pull out a bucket full of water from the well. First of all, they take empty bucket and they tie a long rope on it. And when the bucket that is immersed in water, they keep one end of rope in hand and the bucket is then is pulled. Now, when we pull the bucket, it appears to be. As long as the bucket that is in water, it appears to be very easy to pull the bucket. But as the bucket comes out from the water, it is not in a contact in, of, with water. Then it appears to become heavy because of the effect of the up thrust. Next is the Archimedes principle. Now, what does Archimedes principle state? Archimedes principle state that it is states that when a body that is immersed partially or completely in a body means it is sinking, it is it has sink or it is floating, it experiences experience an up thrust which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by it. Its definition of वो सारी चीजें हैं जो हम लोग ने अभी तक पढ़ी हैं. For proving this, there is an experiment which you should know. So here we have taken two buckets 
full of water bucket a and bucket b we have also taken a body of mass 10 kg attached with a beam balance so in one of the uh, water bucket we put a uh, the mass of 10 kg in it now we will calculate the up thrust on the body so therefore because this 10 kg object displaces 4 kg of water it feels like it only weighs 6 kg and the water so hence buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced water so this is a very easy experiment you can perform it at your home next thing that you need to know is that if you take an iron nail then it will sink in the water because the density is greater than that of the liquid and if you take a wood then the density of the wood that is less than the density of the liquid so the density of the body that is indirectly proportional to the density of liquid so the density of body that depends on it it will sink or it will float So this was the chapter. This was a very easy chapter, and again I will recommend you to just solve all the questions that are in the book, and they are very easy questions. And uh, I don't think so. Gal, experiment value questions mark. Look, the teachers zingy. So best of luck, best of luck for exams, and uh, do like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Seven Star Tutorial. Thank you so much.